you're watching the gallery, I'm your host, Emily Tulloch, and today we're going to be interviewing our Artist of the Month, Jennifer Stratton. Jennifer, thank you for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. Your pieces are gorgeous. They're hanging up in our hallways and in our conference room. Um, before we get started on talking about your artwork, um, give us a little background on who you are. Well, <laughs> I'm an artist. <laughs> but. Um, I'm also, I teach a lot of art and mm -hmm. I, I also play music, I'm a musician, I do some improv, everything that's kind of under the creative realm mm -hmm. I tend to be involved with. But um, I really focus a lot on art and teaching art. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you do a lot of the, the artistic um, elements, yes. you know, performance, visual art, all of that, that's beautiful. Yeah. Um, what got you interested in art to begin with? I guess, I mean, even as a, a kid, I just grew up being totally into art. I mean, it just, mm -hmm. I think I, I, I might have mentioned it to you before, like it was, I feel like my first language is <laughs> like being expressive with art. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, from just from the get-go, I was just always drawing, painting, mm -hmm. even acting things out. I don't know, mm -hmm. just doing a lot of creative things. Yeah, so it's been a lifelong passion for you. Yeah. That's great. And how would you describe your artistic style? You know, if you see our pieces in the gallery, there's a lot of variety in how you approach the canvas. Yeah. So can you give us a little insight into that? Sure. Yeah, I'm all over the place. As you can <laughs> see, I even I picked these two because, you know, one, I, I have a very expressive style. Mm -hmm. I'm not like a photorealistic artist. Mm -hmm. But, you know, this one is more realistic, this one is more expressive, it's a collage, mixed media. So um, depending on what stage of my life I've, you know, kind of run the gamut between being a very expressive artist, sometimes, um, you know, just channeling things inside. Like I, I like to call it inner prompts and outer prompts. prompts. Like sometimes I, you know, it's just things that I, I feel inside or visualize inside that I'll put on canvas and then there are times I really like to observe what's in front of me and try mm -hmm. to re recreate that in my own way. So I, I go both ways. <laughs> no, that's absolutely, that's great. What I love most about walking through the gallery and looking at your artwork is that it's all so different, right? You, you know, it's not the same sort of pieces. Each one is telling a different story. It's got different colors. It's got different everything, right? So it's just, really fun to walk through it and just see everything. Oh, that's you know, it's awesome like a journey. to know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's been like, it is a journey. It, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now, why is artwork and being an artist so important to you? Um, well, to be honest, like, I mean, I've always done art, but then I kind of veered off and studied agriculture. <laughs> um, and well, I, you know, travel has always been a big part of my life. I've lived overseas a lot. So, and then I kind of came back around to my art. Mm -hmm. So it's always been there, but I haven't always focused on it completely. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when I came back around to it, um, I, it, it helped me through a, a really difficult time in my life. Mm -hmm. And so I realized that art has always been there during the difficult times of my life mm -hmm. to help me to express myself you know, in ways that I can't maybe, you know, just linear, linearly like talking or, and so, um, yeah, I just feel like it's, it's like I've said before, it is part of my language mm -hmm. and I feel like it's just, I have to do something creative. It's just in me to do something creative. So right. I don't know if that makes sense. But. Yeah. Okay. No, absolutely. And it's great that it's always there for you. You don't feel like you always need to be doing art to be an artist, that you can take a break from it and you can come back to it maybe when it calls to you or when you need it the most. I think that's really beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and so what's next for you? You, you have this gallery space here at the Cape Media mm -hmm. Center. Um, what else is next for you in your artistic career? Um, well, I have a big show coming up in May and it's kind of like a memoir show and it's, um, there's, I took a trip with my family when I was very young and we went around the world in 1971. Like a, ve like a trip of a lifetime, like something most people probably will, won't ever get to experience. Mm -hmm. And from that, it, it really shaped who I am and influenced my life. So I did kind of a, I took photos from that trip and just my memories and created, um, I captured a lot of 
pieces, you know, I created a lot of pieces that captured that trip. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to be highlight, I'm highlighting that part of my life and it's going to be at the Brewster Ladies Library in May. And it'll be, a, you know, a lot of, this will be there mm -hmm. <laughs> along with others. But That's great. And do you have a website that people can yeah. go and look at your artwork on as well? Yep. It's, um, oh, you can, yeah, you can say it. Oh, okay. It's um, jenniferstrattonart.com. Great. Well, Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us today and your artwork is going to continue to be here for the next month. Um, so if you are interested in coming down and seeing it all, um, please make an appointment or you can give us a shoot us an email. You can give us a call and you can come in and see Jennifer Stratton's artwork for yourself. And also the open house, right? And also the open house. Yes, we are having an open house uh, February 23rd from 6 to 8 p.m. here at the Cape Media Center. And Jennifer will be on site as well, um, giving tours of her gallery, answering questions. And so it'll be a great time. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you for joining us today. Thank you.